I welcome you to the Paddington Art Prize and the exhibition of national finalists for 2011. Um, it is my privilege to be here among such wonderful, impressive uh, and imaginative paintings. I can feel the joy coming from all these works and it's such a delight. It's my happy duty tonight to thank everyone who's helped make this possible. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Professor Ian Howard, Dean of the University of New South Wales College of Fine Art. Ian is going to open the exhibition and uh, so I'm going to hand the microphone to Ian. Thank you uh, very much, Marlene, and congratulations again for the Paddington Art Prize. I think it's number eight. We're up to, um, if I do my counting correctly. I'm quite supportive, in fact, of, of uh, art prizes, and of course this is a, a very, very substantial one within, within the Australian uh, calendar, so congratulations, uh, Marlene. If I could also just talk about the place of landscape, though, the, obviously the particular theme uh, of this um, uh, uh, prize, and of course, landscape has been a quintessential element, almost a defining element in the Australian character over the years. And of course, artists are, of course, the archetypes of, of responders to landscape, sitting for hours, uh, doing a work in, 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 in the landscape, studying there for a week, making studies, looking at a particular landscape, maybe even uh, over a lifetime, immersion and, and experience. So it's a different way of looking at landscape, and I think it's vitally important that um, an award like this, a prize like this, does draw us back to that more intimate and meaningful uh, relationship with the landscape. So I've just finished by saying, and what does the, 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 do the works on display here kind of bring to us in relation to that, that comment about responding to the land, a kind of particular Australian character, I would argue. Well, certainly the works here do capture a sense of place, every one of them a different response to a different physical space. But it's also not just a space, but it's a sense of time, of a particular time within that space. It's almost, I think you could argue, a historical moment. So when you look at these works, you know where they come from, but they come from a particular period as well. And you're absorbed within that time and that place and that space. And one could also argue that that sense of a fundamental anchoring in the time and space is indeed a fulfilling and indeed an essential experience of life. So all these things uh, make it vitally important uh, that this Landscape Art Prize um, continues, as it's been doing before, and it's an additional reason why we should congratulate Marlene Antico in terms of the initiative and the great level of support which she and her family has brought to the project. So. And therefore, I'm uh, in a position to declare the exhibition officially opened and we get to the really exciting part of the prizes. Thank you, Ian, for your very kind words, your appreciation, and, and your very informative talk on the Australian landscape, which is very dear to me, of course. Um, uh, now, I, I'm going to, um, uh, I, I'm, I'm actually terribly excited tonight because it's the f first time that a woman has won the Paddington Art Prize, isn't it? Um, uh, now, her name is Margaret Loy Puller, and Margaret has been painting for I think only four years, um, uh, and uh, here tonight is her um, a, a associate or her, her gallery. I can't see young Sharon from Mook Mook Gallery. Oh, here we are, thank you. Uh, if you would like to come, uh, and Sharon, and uh, accept her prize of $20,000. <laughs> Here, which talks about um, uh, the potato dreaming. Uh, so I invite you all to uh, uh, engage with it and understand uh, 
this wonderful work, which is so sophisticated. Um, it's so abstract, but it still talks about the traditional story of these bush potatoes. Uh, so do enjoy it as I have done. And I congratulate the judges for choosing such a, a work. I think they, well, they, it was a very hard job. I know they had a very hard time, but uh, I, I do think it's a worthy work. And many congratulations. Margaret couldn't be here tonight, um, but I wish her very well and a great future. I'm sure she has already. She won um, an art prize just in July and she's been in, in this very short space of time, uh, has been finalist in four or five art shows. Uh, so um, congratulations to her and all of this. And I hope one day I can come and visit you. I look forward to it. Okay, thank you. Paul uh, Ian Howard, Professor Ian Howard back, uh, to present the University of New South Wales College of Fine Arts Prize. Thank you Marlene. This prize is uh, at COFA. We have a strong uh, printmaking area and that printmaking area has a custom print operation and the custom print operation is where artists come into a print shop, it happens to be the college and both Michael Kempson and our senior students work with that artist to produce an edition, uh, a print edition. Uh, so what we've done here traditionally is to choose one of the artists and then invite that person to come in and work with us and produce that edition. And usually they've been quite spectacular, I have to say. So the winner um, of the Cicada Press print edition is, I have a little certificate here, <coughs> is Fiona Greenhill. Two honourable mentions, so I'll hand the mic over to Martin. Okay, um, I've got two uh, honourable mentions um, tonight uh, to notify you of, and uh, uh, we, we're very, um, very proud to uh, be able to hand over these prizes. Now they're they're, uh, they're both a gift out for the, up to the value of five hundred dollars at uh, Eckersley's uh, Art and Craft, which is in Oxford Street, Bondi Junction. I should know that. Um, <laughs> But uh, Oxford Art Supplies, I have heard you reference it to that before, Eggsley's regards. Uh, so there's two honourable mentions tonight. And the first one goes to my favourite work, um, which is um, a painting of the most beautiful town in Australia, which is Mount Wilson. And the artist, of course, is Cathy Parthenus. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, second honourable mention uh, goes to uh, Eva Nebuljari Nelson for Badriga Dream. Uh. And that's all we've got with the honourable mentions. Um, and I'll hand back to Marlene. Thank you again, Marlene. Congratulations. Thank you, Martin.